Is your workflow too much work and not enough flow? Here at Intellisight, we've designed the Foresight software to help you with your workflow. Foresight is a comprehensive package that allows you to go from designing your assay in a plate-centric way to fit, putting your protocol together to analyzing. So here we're actually looking at an apoptosis plate, but this is an entire plate of data. So this one scatter plot represents an entire plate of data. If I wanted to show you that, I could right click, hit a plate view, and instantly I'm actually seeing the entire plate of data and all the scatter plots associated with it. If I wanted to go and add the gates, I could show the gates. So now you see exactly where those populations are for every well. This can become very powerful if you're looking at uh, if you're looking to confirm your biology of, of choice. So you can set your gates, there's a cell gate, we're cleaning up the cells for doublets, and now we're positioning gates for, bi for biologically relevant cell populations in apoptosis. Caspase, anexin, this is mitochondria, um, this is viability, right? So viable cells will uh, not take up the stain and non-viable will, you get this population, and mitochondrial damage where the mitochondria are stained and if they start to become damaged, you actually see a drop in that, in that dye and so this is where that population comes in. So we've got our gates and now we're gonna take a look at heat maps generated from, from that data set. So these heat maps can be made basically for, for any piece of data. If you wanna make a heat map, it's very easy to go up to this icon, hit the heat map, it says, what metric do you wanna take a look at? I'll pick one that we, uh, haven't looked at, right, viable cells, say okay, and instantly I have another heat map that I can place anywhere in the, you know, and change it to anything that I want. This makes that very powerful. Also, this system creates dose response curves. Now back here, when we did uh, our plate, you can see the samples and you can see the positive and the negative rows, but what I didn't show you is that it's actually a series plate. Right, so we've set up series of compounds. If you click a compound, you can see starosporin, you can see its dose response, and all of this annotation goes downstream into the analysis. So it can be used. The, the system knows where to go to get that data to create this analysis. So then when I come back to analysis, so going back to the analysis, we can create these dose response curves based on that template, and it's very easy to create them. It's very easy to, to uh, uh, manipulate them to add or subtract or take out a point, but you don't have to go to another software package. It's all right there. Now, one key, key part of uh, this is being able to play with all this data, right? How do I know what's going on in my well? So we've incorporated this tool we call WellScan, and you can take and link together all these pieces of information, these visualizations, so that you can click them and they are actually um, maps for the other pieces of data. So here I can click on a well, any well, and this is showing me in that well, that population for say caspase, right? So now I know exactly what's going on in that well. I can confirm my biology and I can also see it visually. So down here on the, in the plate view map, I also get it. And as I go from any well that's interesting, this is the data that I get. Now, that's a lot of data, right? So how do you deal with a huge amount of data to get one answer out? Because really, it's not about, in apoptosis for instance, it's not about any one, it's, it's all of them. You need to know what an exon is doing, what your mitochondria are doing, and it's all those together that give you the answer. So we created what we call a profile map. So a profile map is not a heat map. A profile map is essentially a locator map for a Boolean logic-based multi-criteria that the user can put together. So here, you've got four different criteria, a caspase, a nexin, a mitochondrial damage, and cell viability. You put these together, and the blue dots on the wells tell you where that criteria has been met. Right, so the blue bars are, the, are, are what you're interested in, and the blue dots confirm that biology. If I want to look at any particular well, Right? I can look and the little red dots that are up on the bars are telling me in that well, this is why it's a positive. 
this is telling me why it's a negative, right? I've got three that are outside the bounds. But it's way, way cooler than that because you change your mind, right? You might want to optimize your decision-making process. You can optimize it in any way by moving these bars and in real time, it will change the criteria in real time and give you just what you want. So now I've changed the criteria and this is definitely a hit, right? So I can dial in the data to get just what I want from an extremely complex data set. This works across everything that would go into that well. So say I'm doing immunophenotyping and cell health for subpopulations and a cytokine profile of 16 cytokines, that's like 38 pieces of information. I can make a profile map that gives me the three wells that I'm interested in. Instantaneously, templatable, so then it happens on the next plate. It's, it's, this is one of the coolest things that, that is out there in this software. But then we come to this conundrum. In normal flow workflow, right, you, you don't get any of these pieces of information. You have to export the data and then import it into another piece of software, get some more data, export it again, put it in again, right? So export, import, play with it, export, import, play with it. And that's great, except when you get to the end and you're five pieces of software in, you, you end up having to change something. I need to move a gate. Now I have to go all the way back to the beginning and start this process again. And quite frankly, most people don't, right? But with our software, because it's all held, I can make a gate change. I can grab this gate and move it. And my entire analysis has just changed in real time. I optimized this assay in under two seconds. Not two weeks, not 16 hours, knowing a bunch of different things. Joe, so this makes the workflow extremely useful. Now, I might be in a position where I have to tell my boss about this data. And what we have up here is a little button that allows you to create a report. I can go in and I can pick the content that I want to give my boss. I might even make a boss tab so that it just gives my boss what, what he or she wants. And then I can hit the PDF, it generates that, and I can send that to, to the person in seconds. This is what we mean by usability, that heart, right? It takes hours out of your day. It takes weeks out of what you're doing. And it gives you the ability to get actionable results in a very short time frame. That's why people love this software.